First breaking news, police open fire on a suspect in downtown Kansas City. 41 Action reporter Dia Wall has details about exactly what led police to shooting the suspect. She's joining us live at 6 and Grand on the north side of the downtown loop with more. Dia. Hey, Kevin, there is a lot of crime scene tape out here and a huge area that's blocked off. Kansas City police tell us this was just supposed to be an arrest at the end of an ongoing drug investigation. Instead, it ended with officers shooting a suspect they tell us was armed with a handgun. KCPD says they bought drugs from this adult male suspect multiple times before. Today, when they tried to arrest him, they say the suspect got into their car, tried to drive off, and when that didn't work, officers say that man got out armed with a gun. That's when one officer fired, hitting the suspect, and one officer does have a minor injury to his hand, but they say this whole thing could have been much worse. You know, officers never know exactly what they're walking into, and so we have to train for and be prepared for every type of situation. We take them as they come and respond accordingly, according to our training and our experience, and each one of them can be dangerous, but we have good training, we have good experience, and, um, you know, we work hard to, uh, to emerge in, in these situations um, and, you know, protect the citizens and the surrounding area uh, as best as we can. In spite of how busy this area is, no one else was hurt. At last check, that suspect is in critical condition, but he is stable tonight. Live downtown, Dia Wall, 41 Action News. And Dia, this is the second officer-involved shooting in Kansas City in just the past four days. Friday, an armed man, uh, an officer rather, shot a man armed with a knife in the Northland. It came after officers say he refused their commands to put that knife down. They also say they used a taser before shooting him. That man now facing charges.